Well, my, uh, my role pretty much is uh, uh, to teach uh, uh, and train pastors in, uh, in things like doctrinal truth and theology and scriptural truth, because what you find over in, in Africa, there's a lot of false doctrines being taught. There are uh, cults, there are uh, other religions, and, uh, and sorting all of this out is often difficult for people. They need pastors and leaders who understand uh, just exactly what the Bible is saying about the, the issues that they're facing and uh, what Christ taught uh, in the scriptures so that they can teach the truth to the folks that are in their churches. Well, the heartbeat of the ministry is certainly 2 Timothy 2.2. We want to uh, train people who will become uh, also disciple makers. And uh, uh, we can go over and teach and we can do uh, uh, only what we can do, but then we leave. So the important thing is to uh, equip and empower uh, the pastors and the leaders uh, in the Hope Builders um, ministry plus uh, local pastors. Uh, we need to uh, teach them that their responsibility is to make disciples. And to the extent that we are able to empower them and equip them through the Holy Spirit, of course, that uh, they are able to uh, also then fulfill uh, what 2 Timothy 2.2 2, uh, lays on their hearts. I think that uh, you know, as long as, as pastors grow and mature, and they don't just stay at, uh, at a, uh, a, a plateau of, of, uh, of uh, just uh, uh, saying what they know, that as long as they grow in the Word and they grow in their understanding of it, that they are able then to impart uh, and, and uh, uh, equip other people uh, to become bolder in their, in their uh, uh, evangelism for, and in their testimony for Jesus Christ. Um, there are so many uh, folks over there who have a, a very elementary knowledge of what the Word of God says. And that, that understanding is uh, so easily attacked by uh, uh, outside uh, cults and, and uh, who are there all the time. And so they need to grow in their knowledge and of, uh, of what the Word of God says. Well, the essence of being a believer in Jesus Christ is, is obeying uh, the Word. You know, only those who believe obey, uh, Dietrich Bonhoeffer says. And, and, uh, uh, and so to... Uh, uh, to, to impart to them the, uh, the power to, to uh, 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 believe in what the Word of God says will lead to further obedience. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, the more pastors uh, are united in the truth, the more they are empowered as a body of, uh, of leaders over there uh, to equip other people to also understand the truth. Well, there's the Whole Builders website that I encourage people to, uh, uh, to uh, look at and pray over because there are so many different ways to, uh, uh, to support a ministry. Um, and, uh, you know, prayer is the first one. You know, how would God have me uh, support this ministry? We can't all go over there, but everybody could pray. And there are some who, can, uh, who are, are gifted in, in giving, in the grace of giving. And so they ought to consider how, that, uh, how God might be calling them to do that. Um, because I can't answer the call that God has placed on my life unless others answer the call that God has placed on their lives to pray and to, uh, and to give and to encourage. Uh, and I need the encouragement of God's people uh, to, to continue to go. And uh, um, that, that is a real powerful incentive. Um, and I think that people need to understand those different ways that, that God calls us. One of these days, I'm going to, and it won't be long, I'm going to be standing before my Lord and Savior, my Creator, 
And the one thing I want to hear him say to me is, well done, good and faithful servant. And that means being obedient and, and, uh, and to the call that he's placed on my life. Um, and not to turn away from it because of fear or because of finances or because of age or, or there are no excuses for uh, uh, denying the call that, that he places on our lives. And uh, one of these days, uh, I'm going to have to give an account of how I have responded to the call on his life, on my life. And, uh, and that is uh, to go and do something that I never thought that I would ever be called to do. And that is to go to Africa and to, uh, to get involved in, in teaching uh, pastors over there. Um, so that's why I do what I do, um, because um, he is with me wherever I go. And so I do it in his power and I do it in his strength. And as long as I realize that and understand that, I'll keep going. Well, I think the hunger that I've seen over in Zambia uh, when, I'm, when uh, I'm part of the pastor's conferences that we teach, uh, pastors come from miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers around uh, by any way possible. They walk, they ride bicycles, they, they ride these buses to get to our conferences. And then they'll sleep on the cement floor of the church overnight to, to, uh, 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 to be there for the next day. And uh, I think, the, uh, I think the, it was expressed really well this year when I was teaching uh, in Chapada that uh, uh, the lunch that was going to be served was, was running kind of late, and it was 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I said to, uh, I said to uh, uh, one of the men with, with us, uh, why don't you check on lunch? These men must be hungry. And one of the pastors uh, raised his hand, and he stood up, and with this big smile on his face, he said, Pastor Steve, we are hungry for the word. And I thought, okay, we'll keep teaching until the food's ready. They have a greater hunger for the word of God than for their, the food that, uh, that was being prepared for them. Um, and if Hope Builders, and I believe Hope Builders, is being uh, part of God's answer to feeding these hungry pastors because they want to know the word uh, more than their uh, necessary needs. Hi, I'm Pastor Chuck Reesh. I'm the executive producer at Horizon Media Studios. It's a 501c3 media ministry, and what we're doing is helping other ministries tell their story. Homeless shelters and children's homes, Bible colleges, seminaries, mission sending agencies. With your help, we can continue to help tell their story to inspire the world, to shine their light, and let God get the glory for the work that's being done in advancing the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Thanks again for praying for us.